Good morning, Siri. I'm sure you've guessed that I'm here with some more plans for our town development project. And good morning to you too, Victor. Let me guess, this time we're going to go ahead and upgrade the benches again? To be frank, we're quite close to formulating a plan with the townsfolk, but we've got one more vital step to complete. I'm afraid the details of the project are currently confidential, but please, Siri, we need your help now more than ever. Okay, okay, what is it this time? Hmm? You're, you say you're not sure what you should do to help? That's quite alright, just follow the instructions and you'll be fine. I've posted the details on the bulletin board, so do go take a look when you've got the time. Okay, so it seems like we're about to get ourselves into who knows what kind of trouble next, guys. But I think we're prepared. We've been doing really, really, really great. And speaking of doing really great, I'm going to tell you guys what I've got in my pockets. We went mining last night. I spent all of the time since you guys last saw me going ahead and going mining. We got quite a bit of gold. Some of it's being turned into ingots right now as we speak, which is definitely going to help us out with some of the projects that we'll have in the future. And then we have a whole bunch of silver and a whole bunch of iron. And we are absolutely going to be turning the silver and iron into sprinklers. Sorry, little birdos. Because the more sprinklers we have, the more plants we can plant. And the more plants we can plant, the more money we make. The more money we make, the more we'll be able to actually work on really expanding our beautiful, beautiful farm. <gasps> and what happened to my flower? Okay, wait. This is, this is a dramatic moment. I had no idea that by sharing the precious, wonderful gift of my wonderful, beautiful flower, that gigantic sunflower that we had, that the bees would just go and eat it. I didn't know how that's wor that worked or else I might not have done that. I mean, probably I would have, but still. All right, let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh my gosh. The bees ate my flower. Oh, hey, but we got a whole bunch of honeycomb hives. That's nice. A beehive filled to the brim with comb honey. Okay, so is there some way I can actually turn that into honey? Or is it honey as it is? Oh boy, okay. This is why we actually need to work on making like a little kitchen garden out here somewhere. Uh, but we'll talk more about why that may be a very good idea very soon in just a little bit. I guess for now we could go ahead and sell this. And look, it is level four quality. And I think that's because we had level four quality. <gasps> the honey maker, oh, we needed to unlock it. You've unlocked the recipe for the honey maker. It can process your honey hives into pure honey, which can be shipped out or used as a cooking ingredient. Oh, that's so cool. Now we're a fledgling beekeeper. And it, it, it does have level four quality honey. And we did put in level four quality sunflowers. So maybe that's why that happened. That's really cool. So we actually went way up on beekeeping and now it'll boost the quality of the honey hives. We're getting pretty far on a lot of these skills. I'm really proud about what we've been doing. Oh good, and we're almost to the next level of the cooking skill, which is great. Because my friends, not only do we have a new project to work on for town, but we also have a new person to go ahead and focus on for our roleplay event. So I went ahead and I randomized the random generator. Since we have indeed worked enough with Nigel, we kept him as our friend and gave him a gift every single day uh, to go with the role play of really working with him through the end of summer. And we continued to work with that little role play event until after we got the beehive fixed, we managed to upgrade the coop and we upgraded the barn. So I'm very happy about that. And now we're actually going to be shifting gears because we need to become friends. And I laughed so hard when the random generator picked this with none other than... Okay, apparently I know him a little better than I thought we did. Then love it. The man who always seems to be on the hunt for delicious food. And we actually need to be his friend basically until he gets to like two hearts instead of one because we're so close to like the fulfilling the like one heart thing 
So we're gonna have to work with Love It for the next special roleplay event that we're adding in to add a dash of story and fun to our experience. It's really fun. I highly recommend you guys randomize villager to pick from time to time too. And for Love It, we're gonna go ahead and say that Love It is going to, in his um, wisdom about culinary wonders, insist that we organize the chaos that is our farm and create a little kitchen garden. So we're gonna try to create a lovely little kitchen garden that we can lay out very nicely so that I can actually find all of the various bits and pieces, bits and bobs <laughs> of the so, so many things that we have to craft. Oh wow, the honey maker needs a lot of the wildflowers too. Okay, we'll have to work on that. And that's a supple piece of lumber. Okay, we need a lot of supp supple lumber too. But we need to go ahead and we're gonna make a little kitchen garden in order to meet Lovett's very strict requirements. We'll try to put down a whole bunch of the makers so that we'll be able to process all of the cooking ingredients. And we are also going to try to get ourselves up to cooking level six. That should be pretty easy. And I'm kind of hoping that we won't have to make Love It a lot of food ourselves. Yay, but we have some tomatoes ready. Because we're gonna see if we can work on getting the chef sprite to, oh yay, another new sprite, to give us some fantastic food so that hopefully we can convince Love It like we know how to cook even if we're using the secret sprites instead. All right, so kitchen garden, upgrading our cooking skill. And instead of spending too much time in the kitchen ourselves, like I said, really hoping that Love It will just accept like whatever we're up to and be like, this is good. All right, let's go ahead and pick some of these. Yay! Oh my gosh, there's so much to harvest today. Oh my gosh, even the zucchini. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go buy some seeds in just a second of melons and plant as many of them as we can. And let's also make our bees very happy by going ahead and getting our bees, working on a couple more of the sunflowers. All right, we'll go ahead and add that one there. Oh, so cool, and we'll add that one there. And then let's pop in and let's actually go to the Earth Sprite Village. And since now our harvest goddess energy or whatever is telling us that we definitely need to be working with the chef or like the culinary expert in town i think we're actually going to go ahead thank you little sprite i don't have anybody assigned to the angler sprite yet <gasps> the journey sprite is actually here today apparently the journey sprite comes on random days there we go so i wasn't expecting to see him all right little chef sprite i have to impress a food critic i'm going to need your help now we got some strawberry daifuku, daifuku from him. Oh, I wonder if that'll impress Love It. But it's nice that we don't have to like make that ourselves, so we can just give that to him. How you doing, Field Sprite? Oh, he gave us a radish. Rock Sprite, how you doing? An iron ore, Grass Sprite. All right, Grass Sprite's doing pretty well. Oh, that's a lot of Sprite coins. Okay, we have a ton of Sprite coins today. All right, but I think what I'm gonna do for now is we're actually going to take some some of the sprites away from Log Sprite, and we're going to give them to Chef Sprite for a little bit. There we go. And then let's pop over up to Chef Sprite. Look at all of them. We're gonna have a whole bunch of little tiny egg sprites running around. That's gonna be so cute. Oh, look how many. Yes, okay. And then we're even gonna take some from Grass Sprite and Stone Sprite. Even though they have had so many for a while, I kind of like the idea of specializing a Sprite. All right, and then let's get up to Chef Sprite. Almost there. There we go. Yeah, this should do it. So we'll put a whole bunch over here for Chef Sprite because we've got a special event going on. We need to go ahead and we need to like make Love It think that we know how to cook there we go. And work on our little kitchen garden. So we'll put the last one with Field Sprite for now. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna have to just wait and see with so many chef sprites, what's going to happen tomorrow. Maybe he'll he'll be able to make us a ton of food a lot faster. All right, and then now that we have got, <gasps> grapes, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Okay, grapes and sweet potato. We don't have those yet, so we might go ahead and buy those. Oh, the Arthurite treasure is here too. I think more stuff is starting to become available on the regular because our sprites are starting to level up. I think that's how it's tied together. 
Okay, we're gonna grab this grape and we're gonna grab this sweet potato and we're gonna sell both of them so that hopefully we'll be able to get those seeds no problem. So we'll have to see if that's how it works. <laughs> we'll have to see if that's how it works. But yay, I actually love this, that we're gonna start working like with really trying to prepare a lot of fun food and do a lot of cooking. That goes very well with the, you know, arrival of autumn. <gasps> but you know what is the end of summer? Oh my goodness, with it being the end of summer, I absolutely have to go ahead. All right, let's pick a few of these. All right, marigolds come to me. And then I'm going to fill up my arms full of a couple sunflowers. I need to make a sunflower blazing bouquet so that I can go ahead and give that bouquet to the absolutely lovely and very, very sweet Lynn among, and Bridget, I wanted to give Lynn and Bridget a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll grab these marigolds. And then what is the last flower that I need for summer? Am I missing a summer flower? Oh, am I missing a summer flower? The lily! Oh no! I don't think I grew any lilies! No wait, it wasn't lilies. It was... It was the petunias! Did I really sell all my petunias? Oh! <gasps> Oh gosh, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay, don't panic, Siri. I just really wanna make that blazing bouquet before the end of summer and give it to her. Uh, we'll sell all of the beans for now because I haven't needed to use those for quite a while. We'll go ahead and sell the sweet potato. Um, and the radishes are so cute, but I don't need them right now. Okay, we'll make a bunch of money from that. If I sold the honeycomb hives, that's a good amount of money. That's a good amount of money, but we're gonna go ahead and keep at least a couple for honey. We'll keep half of them for honey. All right, and then I guess I could sell a whole bunch of these sunflowers, but let's let's go ahead and we're gonna go into town. Oh gosh, I'm so concerned about this. I'm even just gonna ride my little moped in instead of Wild Secret. I've been thinking I should move Wild Secret closer. All right, here we go. Oh, this is really cute, but I do prefer having our horse with us. Oh, Lynn is not here. Okay, so if I needed to make this blazing bouquet, <gasps> I need those petunias, and I don't have any petunias. We have lily seeds now. They can be grown in summer. I'm going to need to buy two petunias. Those are very expensive. <laughs> All right, we're going to buy two petunias because I really wanted to make a blazing bouquet for Lynn, and I wanted to make one for Bridget because... They're both just so sweet. So let's make this out of the hibiscus. Oh, I kind of love the idea of, oh, and they, they also cost money to make too. I also love the idea of maybe uh, Nguyen helping us out with being able to make these bouquets. Oh, there we go. That makes me happy. I just really wanted to have a couple of those bouquets to give to our wonderful friends. I keep forgetting about like, the fact that we could be making perfumes to give as gifts too. I'll have to think about that. All right, how are you doing, Nguyen? There's quite a bit of hubbub around town now. I know, right? Also, would you like a strawberry daifuku? Thanks, Siri. You have a gift for picking out gifts. Oh, oh he loved it. Looking for fishing advice, eh? Well, if it's a rare fish you're after, it can't hurt to upgrade the old rod. Oh, he really liked that more old style sweet. I have been trying to figure out what he would enjoy for ages now. All right, so that got him almost up to two hearts. That's good. All right, and meanwhile, Lynn, how are you doing? Oh gosh, I you know what? I'm gonna save the bouquets to give to her on the last day of summer. The sun is amazing. It helps all the flowers grow, doesn't it? Speaking of flowers, how would you like this marigold? They're one of your favorites, I think. <laughs> Thank you, I like this sort of thing. The sun is amazing, it helps all the flowers. Yep, the flowers are indeed growing in the summer sun. Don't know what you're talking about. Summer blazing bouquet. Just gonna tuck that behind my back. Phew. All right, well with that done, I think we should go ahead and we'll visit with Lovett today so that we, we can listen to him basically ramble at us and talk about how we need to go ahead and work on our kitchen garden. And then let's go see what the town needs for upgrade. Also, hey, Sally. I've been getting more customers recently. I might have to start working double time. I want to build an amusement park here. 
Mikey, if with any imagination, you could make this place an amusement park. Yeah. Jason? Listen to this, Siri. Our humble hotel was featured in a travel pamphlet. Isn't that wild? Oh, wow! This must be really good, all the upgrades we've do been doing for everybody in town. Ooh. If you run the hotel. A beauty salon, olive hall, benches, and now streetlights? Olive Town is a dish and its amenities are beautifully plated. Excellently discussed, love it. Um, also, I gave away the strawberry daifuku already, but would you like a mugwort daifuku? Oh. Thank you. Love it likes it. Okay, okay, he'll take basically pretty much any food, I think. Alright, love it. So, I can only assume... Here, we'll grab something to eat. And then we'll say that Love It basically is sitting us down to ramble for ages about the different pros and cons. Okay, yeah, he's already at one heart, but we need to get him to like two hearts just to make it fair. But we'll go ahead and we'll get something to eat. And we'll say that Love It is going to ramble on and on and on about the pros and cons of various cooking techniques. And what he thinks we should go ahead and do. A Napoleon pasta. Interesting. There's something new to try. There's mixed soup and vegetable salad still. And then there is cheesecake. That actually sounds amazing. And shortcake, which sounds so cute. And then there's cocoa. Oh, wow! Cocoa! Oh, and I love orange juice. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a cheesecake with Love It. Let's do it. In fact, I guess we should go ahead and eat at Sally's place while Love It is our main focus so that we can try to learn all these new recipes. Oh, did I already know how to make that? Okay. Still, I like eating the cheesecake. All right, that was fun. So we'll check on Chef Sprite every day to see if Chef Sprite maybe has some free food we can go ahead and give to Love It. <gasps> no, 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 I didn't forget. I didn't forget his birthday. Okay, good. For just a second, I thought I forgot Marcus's birthday. Oh, sorry about that, Damon. How you doing? Huh. Manuela offered to help me sell uh, my accessories. Oh, whoa, Damon! What do you craft? Here, would you like um, a straw, a sunflower? Huh. huh, thanks. Okay, not into flowers. Whoops. Don't know if our relationship would ever be able to go very far if that's the case. Oh, and check this out. So it's a secret what we need to do in town. But if we can bring 10 durable lumber in 10 smooth cloth or 5 gold ingots, then we'll be able to complete the town request. We've got those, those durable lumber. We'll go get the durable lumber and we'll grab a refined coal for Laura. We never have been able to give Laura like a lot of time and attention. So that should work out well. All right. Meanwhile, we got the beekeeping on dial. And phew, okay! I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made today. I didn't, like, I do need to come in and buy some seeds, so we'll just spend the very last of our money on whatever melons we've managed to snag. Oh, and actually, Angela, would you like a flower? I want to be the giver of flowers again. I need to change my title to that, and then I will just give everybody flowers at the end of the season. I do want to have a, a decorative flower field. Oh, thank you. You're always so considerate. And then how are you doing, Jack? Uh, hey, what are you up to? Giving out flowers? I'm going to be generous and give you one, too. Mm. Oh, thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> I know. I know, right? Beautiful flowers. Ah. All right. So let's go ahead and spend the rest of our money on melons. We're putting it all in. All in on melons. I can get six. I now have 16 gold. I have not been this broke in ages. <laughs> Oh, and we should go inside our little hen coop and see if we actually have a baby hen hen today. What a busy day. Holy heck. But we've got the harvest sprites lined up. Thank goodness. We've tended to our wonderful little bees. Um, and then to make a beehive, like, poof. Do we have what it takes to make a beehive? Hmm. Or the honey machine, not a beehive. Sorry. Yeah, I do think we have what it takes to have a honey maker. However, let's grab that durable lumber. The 10 durable lumber logs real quick. We'll take care of that for the mayor first. Because I'm curious to see how is he going to upgrade town this time. Also, do we only have one more day left of the season? Indeed. And tomorrow is going to be Renia's birthday. So I think we might go ahead and give her maybe one of the jewelry pieces we've been holding on to for ages. There we go, we'll get the gold processing. 
I can't even remember what we're saving it up for, but we're saving it. All right. And we'll put this gold away. And then we'll go ahead. Ooh, I've got some random fodder in my pocket. Well, I run a farm that is apt to happen. Because yeah, we've actually been holding on to like this jewelry locket for forever. So maybe we'll just go ahead and give that to Rania like as a big birthday gift. I think that sounds pretty darn friendly. There we go. There we go. Oh gosh, and you know, I haven't looked at the lake in a while. Wow! So it actually is working. Holy cow. All right, the pump needs that refined coal. And we need to grab the refined coal that I almost forgot about for Laura. So let's go ahead and refine ourselves. Six pieces of coal. And then we'll give that piece to Laura and we'll turn in what we need for the town's development project. And heck, I think we'll be well on our way to really getting things going. All right. And now that thing is like sucking up even more, <laughs> even more water. We'll come back tomorrow and we might actually get to the bottom of the big lake, which would be really cool to see. Did my animals go inside or did they never come out? Oh, I forgot to let them out. Oh, I got way too excited today. All right, everybody come out. And then, yeah, I missed writing wild secret. <laughs> This is fun, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. All right, well, let the hen hens... <gasps> Let's check on the baby. Baby? No baby. We'll cut look the eggs later. All right. And wild secret, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna ride into town. We'll turn these things in. And then I think I'll actually spend the rest of the evening... <gasps> Look at that cute little chick chick. I can't wait to have little chick chicks too. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. And then I think I'll actually spend the rest of the evening trying to prepare and set up the little wild like kitchen, the outdoor kitchen garden that we're gonna have. It's gonna be to the right side and here are the durable lumber for you, Mayor. Dun, 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 dun. And a little bit of that for Laura. <gasps> If I hurry, we might be able to buy some more melons. Go, 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 go. Wild secret. Go, go, go. It's melon time. Also, with all of the things that Jacobo has said to me lately, I like want to exist on the other side of wherever he is. I do not want to encourage that relationship yeah. with Jacobo. I'm quite concerned about that. All right, we're gonna put it all in on melons. Everything we got. Yes, everything. There. All right. Thank you very much, Angela. I know it seems extreme, but I really feel that melons are the way to go. And we'll be able to harvest them in autumn. Okay, somebody was watching Damon sleep. That's fine. Totally not creepy. Wait, is that in their house? Why do these guys not get under the covers? And why do they stay in their clothes? Actually, now I'm asking the really good questions, if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, I think if I explore and examine this, I'm gonna put this away, we can sell these extra flowers that we've got. And I think if I come over, is this solid? Okay, so this is solid lumber. Hang on guys, I think we're about to get the honey. It's so, so close, I can taste it. And, Almost there. Oh, there we go! Okay, we can actually craft one honey maker. In fact, we can actually craft two of them, but I think one is probably good for now. So huzzah! There we go, my friends. Let's go ahead and I will put that down kind of close to where I am imagining the new kitchen garden will be. I kind of imagine it like being down around here. So we're gonna start clearing away some of this area. And then we'll have a nice little kitchen garden. Maybe I'll move some of the beehives over here when the time comes. There we go. I can't pick any of this up. This is gonna be such a mess later. <laughs> that's okay. Oh yay, now we're the renowned reaper. I still think that that sounds like a terrifying skill. All right, we'll clear these away. Excellent, excellent. Do there happen to be any rare things in these puddles? 
scoop and swish, scoop and swish. No rare things in these puddles, but that's fine. And now we'll put down the honey maker. So the beach is right here. And I think we'll have all of the items that we'll start processing begin to be placed down right where this tree is. Right here. And so it begins. All right. And we'll put the honey in. There we go, guys. All right. Well, it's a long way from being able to get to the point where we will have a full cute little kitchen garden down here. But I'll go ahead and start putting down some things. I wish we had more types of fences that we could work with, but I might do a cute little stone fence. Oh, that would be adorable. We'll do like a cute little stone fence. We might put down a bench or two. I might start getting maybe like a little scarecrow or maybe a little stone lantern. <gasps> I have a chicken topiary now. Oh, that fulfills my life so. And then we'll start decorating the area and really making it ours. Ah, wonderful. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of the melons that we're going to be planting. <laughs> And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, remember, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.